YouTube, I am Mr. Matt. And I forgot to roll my windows down for once. job hello everyone what is the worst job you've ever had and uh, that's a that's a tough one I as you may know have not had a lot of jobs I've done a lot of different things but despite there being computers and you watching this on YouTube I did a lot of cash work uh, you know and helping helping old people they're old and watching fam helping family because they're young and stuff like that so uh, and it's come to a point where I need to get a new job because the end of uh, school is coming up so I guess there's a couple of things to really talk about of bad jobs you, you don't want to do a job that you don't want to do you love what you do you never work a day in your life and so I guess for me I was a easily frustratable person was as boys go boyish and not very uh, in touch of emotions and all that kind of stuff and so I get very angry really quick being in a society that just uh, I don't know it seems like a society where you couldn't always be it's very uptight people Protestant Puritans you know and I'm sure that goes in with any other out of the norm and loud and obnoxious and, and bad attention, not because I had, couldn't pay attention because you all are boring and all that kind of stuff. So what is the worst kind of job? Uh, it's really a tie. It's a, let's see, where do I start off? I think a part, I've had, you know, I've washed dishes, the yard labor, I've made houses, I've sold electronics, I've worked at a school and just emptying garbage cans. I think one time I had community service, just a job in all senses of the word. And they drained a duck pond and they made us clean the black bottom of the duck pond with a flat snow shovel and gar industrial garbage bags where there was black slime and apparently crawfish. That was pretty gross. Uh, and I really can't say it's the worst because the job. Uh, dishes, when I washed dishes, it was uh, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., 24 hour highway downtown city restaurant, and that was just amazing. That, that really built character, and I still wasn't kind of, I was, still wasn't awake. My emotional, I, I was still kind of going back. I'm going to be a child, very explorative when I get old, very, not naive, although to a kid. I think one of the hardest jobs is trying to find what you love, what you do, what you do, what you don't love, or sometimes I go, love what you do, you never work a day in your life, you know, um, is really trying to find out what that is, and find out who a person is, and trying to, trying to please yourself, or trying to be a perfectionist is really hard to do, because ne there's no such thing, and there's really no such thing as perfect, it's a perfect score, but life is meant to be kind of a point-based system. Probably what a political correct sense of it might be. Even if you don't like, even if you don't like conservatives, politically correct is your, is a problem because that's politically correct to those meanies or whatever they're called. Those or not conservative, or, you know, the, the spectrum, the right and the left. It's the same terms. You guys gotta, you gotta stop 
to being a loggerhead. Stop being fucking running into each other. Uh, and you know, in the personal development, it's really kind of the hardest job I've ever taken. You know, as a child, it's as to uh, going to school. That is one of the hardest jobs in the world. Sometimes schools, they want to take your money, and so it's not the greatest of things. And you know, the, the culture of uh, the culture of personality, the culture of personality that at a school can be not what you're used to. And let's say I'm uh, being a uh, being in some sort of way, some sort of prejudice, but that doesn't belong. But repetition, rote learning, R-O-T-E, that if they just make you memorize anything, now of course that would be my bad opinion of school, but if there, there is something that in the, we say in tech that you, you go to college but you still need your certifications. You know, there are nursing certifications, so you go to college for nursing, but you have to, and you still have to get a nursing certification just by your degree. Same with being an accountant, you can learn all sorts of numbers and learning and registries and all that kind of stuff. Uh, accounts payable, accounts receivable, diminished cost. And why a, a mile is 5,280 feet. <laughs> but you can learn, you, you still have to get a certified public accountant or something like that. I don't know what it's, CPA. So you still have to get certified in school. There's that thing about just going to school. It's just very, that's ultimately because they don't know when they're, you don't know what you don't know. So if they're teaching you something you don't need, or they're teaching you something that will be out of date, so, you know, you shouldn't be teaching to the test. You should be teaching a wide spectrum of things and then testing over all those things in, uh, let's say, a book chapter and a technical science, a technical science book chapter of. Oh, that's going to be too loud. The, uh, ultimately the hard job is being honest. And I like to be funny. And that's why I dress up like something that would be most funny. You know? And I want these, these videos, I want them to be off the cuff and all that stuff. Just turn around and now just follow me. Look hard. Uh, but they have those, those uh, you know, like monkeys, and they try to seek inner peace in all the religions. It's the world's of we're still talking about inner peace. All the religions, even the ones with the 10% of 10%. Uh, already dry mouth from talking. And uh, I got ears. I'll listen. My, my, I, I, can, uh, I can listen to things, but only if I use my ears. So all you enlightenment, you know, is uh, nobody's perfect. I can't, I can't remember what I was going to say. It happens when I stop driving. When I drive, I can, I guess it's having to, you know, work on, do work on whatever is out of your comfort zone. So what's out of your comfort zone of enlightenment over here? You try to figure out how to be, uh, you say your goal of your enlightenment is to be a, uh, a better, not a better person, or a better than other person, but a better than you were yesterday, better than yourself were. A good person. Don't try to be a great person, just try to be a person. And then the, the rule of enlightenment is that the, if you try too hard to be a great person, you might not be a person. You know, the slip of the, slip of the trigger finger, the, the dictator who yeah, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. But uh, I don't even think that we were in the pop 
secular culture, I don't think that there's a road to heaven, right? It's just airway. You gotta do some, you gotta put in some work and as soon as you you keep it's like going to the gym. Today is my leg day, it all wraps up if you go to the gym and you try to like a Christmas present which you didn't want. Do you <laughs> if you uh you know you know what I mean? And uh go to the lakes and you do a little bit of, I don't know, the first step is, a, the first step is hard, but then the second, you know, like you don't, you don't try to do, add 100 pounds on your shoulders, then just to, half the steps you did yesterday are easy to, just to give it a half an effort. The journey of a, uh, thousand jobs begins with one job. The journey of a thousand steps begins with one step. And this job. You know, I, I was talking about king of the world. Not really. I've just made myself to this part. It can't be, of course it couldn't be funny off the cuff because it doesn't make sense. Is uh, I, I just made myself entertaining to the powers that be enough that they just keep things, you know, just the way you would, the way a community does, you know, imagine that the, in, you're in communist China where the state is the sponsor of, and the owner of things, and so your job is to sort of, you know, the job is technically to make the world a better place, but I imagine, I don't live in communist China, I mean, we kind of live, we all kind of live next to, to these big democrat cities, leftist cities and capitals, but where the state is predominantly a, a large driver of motivation, morale, where we, uh, I, I imagine it's to get other people to contribute to this communism and stuff like that, which if you find joy in that work, or you find joy in your work, that's fine. Whereas I think in a capitalist society, we, the hardest job is to to find work that automatic I mean we pay taxes automatically contributes to the state not as the proprietary owner the main owner of property that and that that state that that state doesn't tax you too much you know allows the job to still be rewarding whereas the instead of the reward being the job itself the reward comes with the job and that way if you love the job you get the reward and you've created something. And then, uh, yeah. And so that's it. If you Google something called the, if you search something called the Google Manifesto or the Google Memo, Memo, Meno, Menos, Maso Menos, busca un documento, look for a, a web page called uh, Google Memo dot info or dot com or something. It talks about uh, men and women's differences and this and that. But I still think it's a, materialism is still part of the left and the right, and so then it would be, men can be left and right, women can be left and right, and so the hardest job there is to remember that, to remember that we're all here, and that we're not all equal, you know, the, the, the perfect person, the person who's found a job they love, is not the same as the next person, two men, two women, mix it up in the reverse order, Who are, nobody's on top, nobody's left and right. So, it really, the hard job is to remember that it's not a, a battle against yourself. It's just you keep, you keep practicing, or you keep entertaining the idea of freedom and stuff like that. Or freedom through, you know, strength from adversity. Or somebody feels the other way, like uh, the, you, you want to be on the left, and you say the, the adversity is all these people who don't want to uh, be on the left with them, more or less, will build a, will build, will we'll survive on its strength, and will build strength, and people will see that strength and come together, and that's the same thing that the capitalist thing is. So the hardest job is to remember that we're all, we're all doing this one step at a time, one job at a time. If it was a job to watch this video, part of the hard the hard part was looking for this video. And if you like and subscribe, which I for my
myself in this video for the sake of the left and the right. <laughs> Please, they get automatically notified, and then, uh, uh, you know, good things will happen to people that deserve good things. And it won't feel much sort of like work, though. The video will be right there. You just get to watch the video. And I'm in that next video, and if you're watching the next video, I was in the last video. I mean, that's, that's got to be some sort of kismet right there. I'm going to put the buttons on the screen because it's a touch screen, so in the middle of a sentence, I'm going to...